scalpel. Tweezers. The tracking device is very delicate and must be inserted just right. And what better place to hide it than here? Andrew's green gummy bear. Uh, call me crazy, but wouldn't a sponge work better? Sure, if I had a sea sponge, but Ma soaks up moisture in a pinch. Let's just hope your sister is still in Maywood Glen. She's here. I'm sure of it. And this tracking device Kim built us will help us find her. Cam said it's coated in a polymer that will pass through Maddie's system in about two days. Meaning, we've got about 48 hours of tracking time. And you really think Maddie will just show up at the cafe? If I know her, she will. She lives to take risks. When we were little, every Friday after bedtime, she'd sneak out of the house for midship froyo. As long as she's still into froyo Fridays, this will work. Nobody can make Minchip Froyo like me. I never once saw Maddie eat Froyo without piling on the green gummies. That's where this baby comes in. Adri's gummies are irresistible. Ember, you ready? Got my orders. Mint Chip Friday. I'll paper the town to make sure your sister sees. Kayla, I'm heading out for a 10 mile run. You guys know my Aunt Montana, the Falcon? Agent Adams, Agent Evergreen. Nice to finally meet you in person. Mucho gusto, Falcon. Tengo ganas de comer en su café. Hmm. I look forward to feeding you at our cafe. Between you and me, we give a 20% discount to all Innovate employees. Speaking of eating, I rarely put anything unhealthy in my body, but I'm a sucker for the green ones. Mmm. At least we know they go down easy. And we know they work. I'll get Cam working on another one. Wow, the falcon jogs fast. Right, guys? Right? So, right. there's a quail Anyone? and a falcon. Does every Innovate agent get a bird name? Yes. Michaela says you get birded for distinguished service. Question. Anybody got dibs on the snow goose? <laughs> Those little ladies are big time supporters of the ecosystem. You were right. Devin's exactly where you said she'd be. Yep, Devin gets angry about something, Devin expresses it through graffiti, Assistant Principal Wilson freaks, Devin gets in trouble, and Devin has something else to be angry about. It's the circle of life. Okay, let's go talk to her. I hate the talking to her part. What's up, Devin? Looks like you got a lot of cleaning to do there, huh? Yep. Well, if it helps, I always find cleaning to be soups relaxing. When I'm stressed, I organize things, I clean things, I email things, I text things. <laughs> Say things. So many things. Oh, we're not here to talk. We're here to help. With this. <laughs> a bike? Not just any bike. A bike, when I add this and do this, generates electricity. <laughs> you might want to put these on. <laughs> which allows us to power our own personal sandblaster. We create clean energy by letting the pedaling do the work. And as a bonus, it's a great workout. I'm mildly impressed. Now what's in it for you guys? You have to help us amp up our opening act for Elite's contest. You know, with all the funky, cool, artsy stuff you do. Look, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm gonna have to pass. This cleaning doesn't bother me. I could do this all day. Fine. Have fun. I don't want to do this all day. We were hoping you'd say that. OK. I'm in. Awesome. <laughs> but on one condition. You promise not to talk as much as you normally do. Deal! You have my word, and my word is rock solid. Just take it from my girl Cam here. She knows that when Bright and Bandwidth, she promises. No one can resist my delicious gelatin treats. I might have to do my chip chip hurry every Friday. 
from the side of this ground? Wait! Everything's going according to plan. Maddie's going to take the green gummy bait for sure! ourselves a gummy bear hog. You know, Randy, it'd be polite to leave some of Adrian's gummies for the other customers. Just saying. Who are you, Evergreen? The gummy bear police? <laughs> That's cute. Now don't make me ask you again. Randy, you should try some of my famous honey beads made with drops of honey, cold olive oil, and agar agar. So nice they named it twice. Here. Wow, talk about a great disguise. Yeah, but not great enough to fool her little sister. Welcome to Cafe Adams. The mint chip was a wise choice. <laughs> and feel free to load up on toppings. Hey, you told me I couldn't. Chatting with the customer, Randy. Where was I? I myself am a chocolate sprinkles crushed peanuts kind of gal. What kind of person are you? A person who's leaving. Bye now. It's working. She can run, but she can't hide. asking about my timeline. And then out of nowhere, he knew I liked Froyo. Everybody loves Froyo. He was wearing a hoodie. Em, look around. Okay, I guess we have our work cut out for us. Hey, it's the camera. <laughs> Cause that's what you're gonna be doing after the tech fair, snapping pictures of the winner. <laughs> Which would be me. <laughs> it's too late. Hey, Justino, just wait until you feast your eyes on Cam's water-powered racing car mobile. Red! <laughs> Before you say anything, it's a working title. How am I gonna get her to move? I have some homemade organic bunny-shaped marshmallows. They can turn a frown upside down. She doesn't really strike me as the bunny-shaped marshmallow kind of gal. You talking about me? No, just talking about lockers. They lock stuff inside them. Well, you do. I mean, I'm assuming you do. Not to accuse you of anything, although I am. But what I'm really trying to say here is I'm sure you know how lockers work. Is she always like this? It's kind of her thing. It's annoying. Who's the locker blocker? DeMarco. Devin DeMarco. She's a senior who just transferred from some fancy art school and she is not thrilled about it. She makes us nervous. I got this. Watch me work my social skills. Hey, Dev. Vin. Uh, I'm Michaela, but my friends call me M. So, uh, here's the thing. You're kind of blocking my friend's locker and, you know, she needs to get her books, so... Go away. I'll go when I'm ready to go. 
She's ready. <laughs> you have a funny way of making friends, Chica. She's leaving. Hey, what's she doing with that spray paint? So not cool. She's tagging a poster of Dr. Melissa Tuttle. She's been involved in the development of virtual reality, cloud apps, you name it. Isn't she an alumni here? Only the greatest alumni ever. She's launching the prototype of her new drone this Saturday. I've already got ticks. It's gonna be epic. Check it out. It's totally gonna revolutionize drone technology for the next gen. She's like an awesome girl version of Steve Jobs. And DeMarco's painting handcuffs on the new drone. Yeah, looks like she's trying to make some kind of statement. Like she wants to handcuff technology. And the launch is Saturday. Which is when Rachel said things are taking a turn for the worse. I think we have our suspect. Nice work, Picasso. Defacing school property, that's against the rules. Detention, Saturday. See you there. Save my seat. Hmm, detention. Hmm? You want me to get detention on purpose? We've got to figure out how to get past that security perimeter. Well, these spy glasses are pretty rad. Anyway, it's got some tight tools. My turn, my turn. Let me see. Oh, do you see that car? Looks more suspicious to me. Hmm. Super sketch. That's gotta be them. Whoever it is that wants to stop the prince, they're moving in fast. We've gotta get past that guard and get to him before they do. Uh, guys, that was my urgent voice. Mm -hmm. No biggie, I got this covered. Amazing. What did you do? I just rerouted his computer to stream an endless loop of funny cat videos. <laughs> he should be distracted for at least an hour. Very impressive. Thanks. Let's bolt before he catches on. me to guide you through this, here's lesson number one. Secret agents don't bounce. Oopsies. <laughs> and they don't say oopsies. Hey, hey, hey. Where do you girls think you're going? And how did you get in here? Sir, I'm Agent McAllister, and I've been assigned to watch over the prince and ensure that he safely boards his space flight. Well there, uh, Harriet the spy. I look after the prince, OK? You know, no visitors allowed inside, so you lot are going to have to go home and swoon over his snap book like all the other fangirls, OK? <laughs> It's Snapchat. You see, you were mixing up Snapchat and Facebook. <laughs> Sir, you don't understand. I work for an elite group of women operatives from all over the world. Oh, hey! Is this what usually happens? No, not when I'm on my own. What do we do now? They're never gonna let us in. Mm -hmm. You're right. They won't. Not a chance. And this is what I call a red alert. 